Hey guys, Ryan here from Working Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in. Well, uh, me and Fitchek and Sully, I don't know if you can see them over there. Um, we're at the Bushcraft Kitchen today and we're gonna cook up a little bit of lunch. We're doing some uh, New York's boneless sirloin strip steaks with some veggies. We've got some asparagus, potato, um, some summer squash, and some onion and garlic. I did a little Swedish torch variation. So I'm just gonna pile of wood here. I strapped together with some vines and I put a piece of kind of green wood in there um, with a bunch of notches in it so I can stick my Expedition Research grill grate in there and uh, adjust the height of it and try to cook the steaks on that. So that's what we got going. So stick around and uh, we'll do some mad food. Let's get cutting some veggies. First, I'm gonna cut up some asparagus. I'm just gonna cut up all this stuff. We're probably not gonna eat it all, definitely, but um, I have some asparagus left over from the other day from my last video. So I'm just gonna chop this stuff up. I'm gonna throw out the ends. <clears throat> I'm gonna throw everything in this pot here. So, hope you guys are enjoying these vids. Um, it's fun, I like doing it. So, hopefully you enjoy it. Um, next I'll cut up the potato. No, actually I'll cut up some squash. A couple at a time here. I'm just gonna cut some decent slices. These cook pretty fast, so. <clears throat> I'm going for a little chunky and big. I'm gonna do the potato. Red bliss potato. Off here. The eyes. Get the eyes. I'm gonna cut these kind of thin. So I'm gonna cook the vegetables in the pan. And we'll try to cook both the steaks on that grill grate. It's kind of small, but I think we can manage. <clears throat> side. Now I'll do the onion. I'm gonna throw the onion in first. So I'm just gonna cut that up and leave it on the cutting board. Put some butter in the pan once we get the fire going. And uh, then we'll cook up the onion first a little bit, then we'll throw in the potatoes, and then everything else. The steak, I'm just gonna dry rub. 
um, with some seasoning that I made up. I have some different seasoning to put on the vegetables. Um, I'll show you. I have a, a little container that has like five different kinds of spices in it. It's almost like a bread dip spice mix that you can make up, you know, oil and spices and dip bread in it. But it's got some pretty good stuff. I think I might do these in like a rosemary, um, garlic rosemary mixture. I actually may throw just a little bit in here. I'm going to put the rest right in the pan, actually. Mince up a little bit of garlic. Just gonna do a couple little cloves. that and just chop these up a little bit Most of it in there, the pan. I'll throw just a little bit in with the veggies. Why not? Let me throw a little bit of seasoning. I'll show you. This is the, the sample thing I was talking about. It's uh, bread dip seasonings. There's a Parmesan blend, Tuscany blend, Sicily blend, garlic rosemary blend, and I think I'm going to do some garlic rosemary. That's pretty good. You can see it's like big bits of garlic and rosemary. Let's put a little bit in there. I'm going to throw some in here too. The, the aromatics. Alright, I'm going to get these steaks out. Rub these up. Um, again, these are um, boneless sirloin strips that I got from uh, the same butcher shop that we always go to. Um, and again, I'm use my spice mix, which is like meat rub and garlic and all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to sprinkle some on here. Throw a little bit in there too. A little bit in there. Can't hurt, right? Rub that in a little bit. I'm trying to get some on the boards. I can rub it around the sides. All that kind of stuff. that over Put that over a little bit more in there Put that in good shape try to soak up what's on my board here Yeah, that's looking good. I'm gonna put some butter in the pan. Just got some short sticks of regular butter here. I'm gonna throw, I'm cooking quite a bit of veggies, so I'm gonna throw a couple tablespoons right in there. And a couple pats in there. I hope get that pan nice and seasoned up. That's a good shape. Butter. You shut it. Too much butter. You never have too much butter. Sally says too much butter. Yeah, okay. So, um, I guess I'll get this fire started up. 
and get a beer. So let's hold on a second. Today we're drinking a New Belgium Voodoo Ranger Imperial IPA. It's Belgium Brewing, Fort Collins, Colorado in Asheville, North Carolina. You can see that. It's 9% alcohol. Pretty nice. Do the trick, do the trick. Pop that baby open. Give her a shot. Good stuff. All right, guys. I got a bunch of birch bark. I put some birch bark and some little twigs and stuff in the middle of that already. But I got a little bit more. I'm just gonna fluff it up a little bit. I'm gonna stick it down in there. See if I can get a little scratched up here and do a quick flint and steel. I mean, a <laughs> quick ferro rod. Fire steel, I meant to say. See if that works. Give them something quick here. Guys, we're gonna plate up the steak. And I think it's about done. Hopefully, it's not done too much. But Lindsay likes hers done very well, anyway. Yes, I do. So, a couple of steaks. Let's cut into it and see what we got. Ooh. That looks pretty good. Not mine. <laughs> Ellie, that's a hair more than I like. It's going to cook a little bit more anyway. Oh, no. Mine needs to go on but more. Well, yeah, no, no mine it's needs perfect. to go on. No, it's not. It's perfect. Mm -mm. <laughs> Seriously? It's going to cook while it's sitting here. Uh -huh. You always tell me that. And it okay. never does. All right. I'll throw yours on so it's dead. How's that? Yes. Okay, let's get some veggies on here. Mm. They actually look really good. It's more of the seasoning that's burnt up. Whew, that's hot. All right. I'm gonna try a piece of this steak here. You know it's hotter than heck. Oh, my eyes are water. You guys see that? That steak, boy. Mmm. That's good stuff. Rosemary seasoning on the veggies is really good. Like really good. And a little bit of burnt seasoning actually gives it some good flavor. 
Mm. That's good stuff. Good, good stuff. Yeah, see this steak's cooking as we speak. Mmm. Let me take Lindsay's off. Cut Lindsay a little piece here with some veggies. Come here, Lindsay. See that flavor? Nice quick little meal. All a little right. too quick. <laughs> you want to cook food fast? Build a Swedish church fryer. It's a hack. Mm -hmm. mm. Damn, it's good. That one's mooing. With the voodoo ranger. Mm -hmm. That one's mooing. Mooing. I like it mooing. It was gross. Ooh, sicko. I'll cut some of my moo moo. No, hope. It's really not mooing. Yeah, it is. Not at all. Oh, yeah. But it's a little too done for me, but it's still juicy, so. That's too done for you? Yeah. You really are a sick individual. All right, guys. We're gonna sit here and stuff our face and uh, let the fire burn out. And we hope you like this little video. Um, something a little different, but we're just out here on a Sunday. We want to cook some food and like all you might as well videotape it. So um, thanks for all your support. Like, share, subscribe, hit push notifications, all that good stuff. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, love you all. Rocket Outdoors, Fitchick Adventures. See you on the next one, guys.